we're going to be doing a little overview of the changes that were made to the 2013 GT500 engine with this cutaway model. Okay, so uh, first off, we'll just uh, go from intake. Um, we've got a new uh, TBS 2300 uh, supercharger. It's got an all new housing though. Uh, so the, the inlet right here was uh, designed with CFD to flow more uh, than, for example, like the Ford Racing uh, TBS. Um, also, uh, going down uh, from the supercharger, we've got a new charge air cooler uh, that's larger, more efficient. Um, we've got new 55 pound injectors. Uh, going over to the uh, intake and the cams, we've got 4GT uh, duration and lift uh, camshaft profiles. Uh, we've got new uh, stronger exhaust valves and uh, new valve seats. We've got uh, high dome pistons. Uh, we increased the compression ratio from uh, 8.4 to 9 to 1. Uh, we've got uh, cross-drilled cylinder heads also to cool the uh, exhaust valve. We've got a new four-layer uh, head gasket and uh, with new head bolts. Um, we've got uh, the rotating assembly is new, so the piston, uh, the, the rod is stronger, and then we've also got a 5.8 liter uh, um, counterbalance and slugged uh, uh, crankshaft. Um, we've got a windage tray, integral windage tray with the uh, gasket. We've got a new cast aluminum oil pan uh, with a deep uh, with a deep sump. Uh, we've added uh, about a quart and a half of oil capacity. And then we've uh, also added uh, piston squirters as well uh, to keep the, the pistons cool. So the displacement increased from 5.4 liters to 5.8 liters and really a big enabler uh, for that displacement increase was the plasma uh, uh, spray bore. And really if we had steel liners we wouldn't have had enough real estate to go from 5.4 to 5.8 liters. Um, but uh, because the spray bore is so thin, it leaves uh, a lot of real estate for, uh, for displacement increase. So this actually is an uh, all-bore increase, um, and it's got a carryover stroke. Uh, how many millimeters has the bore increased? The, the bores are roughly uh, three millimeters uh, bigger.